how would we go about doing that? Well, to answer this question, we need to find dimensions, right? So how many variables should we be labeling on this? Two. We should be labeling two, two variables. What two variables should we be labeling, Gabby? What two variables should we be labeling? So let's call this one length right here, and let's call this one width. You with me so far? What is the cost of the fencing going to be in terms of length and width? Can anybody take a stab at that? What's the cost? You raise your hand. What's the cost of the fencing? Zach, what's it going to be? 7L plus 7L plus what? 3W. Very close. Very, very close. That's very close. What's missing? Liz, uh, Liana? 2 times 3W. 2 times 3W. Because how many Ws do you have? Three. 2 of them. So it's going to be really 3 times 2W. Do you see that, everybody? Does that make sense? So we have our cost is equal to 7L plus 2, 6W. What do we not like about this, though? Go ahead. I'll give you a hint. Right here. What does this tell you? Nope. Oh, it does tell you there. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right. You're very right. I thought it said feet, not feet squared. It does. So what relationship is it? That's a noun. Can you give me a relationship between L and Y now? If the area is 2,000 square feet, what is the relationship? Perimeter is 2,000 by... That's perimeter. How do you find the area of a rectangle? Exactly. So tell me what the equation is. 2,000 is L times W. Yes, exactly. So what can you solve for now? One of the variables. Which one? This is a choice. It doesn't matter which one. Which one do you want to solve for? L or W? W. W? So what does W equal, Leanna? 2,000 divided by L. 2,000 divided by L. So now where can you take this? Where can you put that? Anywhere you want. <laughs> you, you theoretically could, but where should you put it? Into the equation right there. Because what was the problem with that equation? Two variables. So now how many variables do we have? We have 7L plus 6 times what? Okay, you can sit down now, everybody. There's our cost equation. What do we want to do with our cost equation? We want to find where it's a what? Maximum? Minimum. We want to find out where it's a minimum. So what is the process we have used for finding where it's a minimum? Take the derivative and set it equal to? Before you take the derivative on this, you're going to want to rearrange this. How? What are you going to want to do to this before you take the derivative? Raise your hand, everybody. Let's have, let's have someone who hasn't spoken yet today. You can distribute. So it's going to be 7L plus what? Easier to differentiate. How could we rewrite that, Connor, to make it easier to differentiate? C equals 7L plus what? 12, nope. 12,000 times what? L to the negative 1. Yes. Remember that? We turned, we turned it into exponent form because we can take derivatives of exponents really easily. So now that we have it in a nice form, what should we do to that, Nick? What should we do to it now? Yes. Take the derivative. So C prime, Nick, can you tell me what C prime is going to be? Yeah. Divided by L to the negative 2? I mean, divided by 12,000. Sure. So L to the negative 2 is equal to 7 over 12,000. Now what do you do? What is L to the negative 2? Um, 1 over Yep. So you could, at this point, what could you do if you wanted to? You have a fraction equals a fraction, so what can you do? Mm -hmm. 7L squared is equal to 12,000. So L squared is equal to 12,000 over what? So someone tell me, please, what does L equal in to three decimal places? To three decimal places. Raise your hand, everybody. Let's do this. Everybody should do this. Zach, what'd you get? 41.40. 41.40. So that's that just tells us where the derivative is zero. But here's the thing. Just because the derivative is zero doesn't necessarily mean it's a minimum cost. It could be a maximum. It could be a minimum or maximum. So what do we need to make? A sign chart for the derivative. So we have L, and we want, we want cost prime. Where's cost prime here? 
Where's cost prime? Right here. So we're doing, we have a sign chart here. And what do we have? 41 point what? Four zero. So you need to test either side of this. You need to test the left side and you need to test the right hand side in that function right there, C prime. Test that for me and tell me you want to know if it's positive or negative. So plug in a number to the left of 41, plug in a number to the right of 41 and tell me if this is positive or negative. Do that right now. Scroll where? 48 point what? 3 1. So we think it's 41.4 by 48.31. Excellent. So that would be the dimensions. What haven't we found though? It didn't ask us for it, but what haven't we actually found? Price. The actual price. Right, Lizzie? Could we find that price? Yeah. Sure. It's, it's the first equation we found here, right? Mm -hmm. So it would be uh, 7 times 41.4 plus, what is it? Uh, 3? It's 6. The, yeah. <laughs> 6 times what? 48.31. What's that going to be? 79.66. So the minimum cost is me 579, and it would be 41.4 feet by 48.31.